It all felt a little too good to be true, and indeed it was. This Christmas funfair in Wales must now close. New restrictions to get high COVID rates down mean it won't be here on Monday. The virus is rife and another lockdown looms. If those measures do not succeed in turning the tide of the virus, then it is inevitable that we will have to consider a move to alert level four immediately after Christmas. School children are being asked to help avoid that. This is the last day of lessons in school for these children. The final week of this term will happen at home now for all secondary and college students. We'll continue to be flexible and, and meet those challenges head on. You know, hopefully, yes, we'll have them back in January as if we're going to carry on. But obviously, we've got to be prepared for that. And that's why we've moved towards more live lessons now. Wales has been out of its lockdown a month now and rates are rocketing. Despite that, its R value is lower than other parts of the UK. Today it was reported to be 0.8 to 1.1. But the east of England, London and the south east are now higher at 0.9 to 1.1. It means the R number in the UK has increased slightly to 0.9 to 1. And there are fears that what is happening in Wales is just around the corner for England. That's extremely worrying. Uh, we re th these numbers are going in the wrong direction in the south. If we get the beast up off the floor again, in, then in January and February, our NHS can face a real, real problem again. And so we have to keep discipline. That's why on the 16th, we will be looking to do whatever we can, but we must, must keep that virus under control. Like Wales, school children are bearing the brunt of high rates as the main drivers of transmission mass testing in the worst affected areas will be rolled out for them, their teachers and their families. One head in Kent believes it may have been better to put classes online. I think that would have been a good option at this point uh, going into Christmas because it has brought up a lot of anxieties in staff, in students and in families with many, many good reasons um, and with the thought of giving any sort of virus to an elderly relative or any, any vulnerable relative. What a weight on young shoulders, it's awful. The Christmas lights in London are twinkling and the shops are still open, but as the virus hovers over us, this could all come to an end sooner than these shoppers would like.